today we will solve the problem 5.5 and 5.6 uh, both are very simple problem so i combined both uh, this is from griffith fourth edition introduction to electrodynamics uh, problem 5.4 consists of uh, two part uh, uh, a current i flows down a wire of radius a uh, part A is if it is uniformly distributed over the surface, what is the surface current density K? Uh, here it's a cylindrical shape I have drawn. This is not a cylinder, it's a wire which is having cylindrical shape. Uh, the line I have shown is the center of this wire. So let us uh, take this radius as given in the problem. This radius is A, that is from here to here. This is A, radius is A. Uh, so uh, what is the uh, current, uh, current density, surface current density, that is more important. So uh, uh, by definition, surface current density, that is a current per unit width, is defined as k is equal to uh, t i over t l uh, perpendiculars that is its perpendicular distance so the perpendicular to the wire is uh, this uh, circumference circle uh, so uh, that uh, t l is equal to 2 pi a this i uh, t i is i and uh, t uh, l perpendicular is 2 pi a uh, so, uh, the k value is equal to i divided by 2 pi a. This is about the part a. Now, we will move on to part b. Uh, now, part b is, if it is distributed in such a way that the volume current density is inversely proportional to the distance from uh, the axis, what is j of s? s is a distance from the uh, axis that is, that is center. Uh, now, by definition, the current I is equal to integral over J dot T A. Here, uh, J is given, J is inversely proportional to uh, G S. I will come to this J. J S is inversely proportional to, uh, inversely proportional to uh, this S. Yes. So this will be become C over S because it's uh, clearly Q1 is proportional to inversely proportional to the distance. So JS I can write uh, as uh, which is equal to C by S uh, where C is the proportionality constant. Now our task is we have to find the proportionality constant. Uh, then uh, I, I this integral I have replaced J by is C over S. Yes. Then T A, what is T A? Now I have taken a small ring inside the wire at the distance S. Yes. So this is at the distance S. Yes. Uh, this uh, thickness of the ring is I am taking as T S. Yes. So what is the area? Naturally, 2 pi s. 2 pi s gives this uh, circumference uh, multiplied by this t, t s thickness will gives you the area. So this t a I have replaced by uh, 2 pi uh, s t s. Now s s will get cancelled. You take the constant outside the integral. That is 2 pi and c. 2 pi c. Uh, integrate uh, over uh, integrate T S uh, with respect to uh, zero to S. Yes. Uh, sorry, zero to A because the radius of the circle is A. So if you apply, uh, if you integrate, you will get S. Yes. So if you apply upper limit A, lower limit will be zero. So this will be uh, apply after applying limit uh, integral T S will become A. So I have taken 2 pi a, here you have c, 2 pi a c. Then what is c? c is equal to i over 2 pi a. 
now we know the js is equal to c over s uh, that is c we uh, found that i over 2 pi a and this s comes uh, this is the current density for this case now we will move on to problem 5.6 now we will see problem 5.6 a this also contain two parts so uh, part A is a phonograph record carries a uniform density of static electricity sigma. If it uh, rotates at an angular velocity omega, what is the surface current density K at a distance R from the center? So now uh, this is a phonogram is a circle, uh, circular disk. So we have to find the a value of k at a distance r this is let us say this is the center of the disk we have to find the uh, surface current density at a distance r from the center uh, so here this angular velocity velocity is omega and uh, you can see the omega and uh, this radius both are perpendicular. So by definition, uh, this uh, this k is uh, equal to sigma v. Sigma times v. Uh, however, the v is equal to r cross omega, r cross omega, which is equal to r uh, r omega sine theta. But uh, this is, uh, you are sure that the circumference uh, and the radius are perpendicular to uh, each other. Uh, so this uh, sine 90 is equal to 1. So this will become simply R omega. So now you substitute this in the uh, equation. K is, is equal to sigma omega. So naturally, K is equal to, K is equal to, sigma r omega so this is the answer for this now we will move on to part b of this now part b is a uniformly charged solid sphere remember that it is three dimension is a solid sphere of radius r and the total charge q is centered at uh, the origin and spinning at the constant angular velocity omega uh, along the z direction that the axis i have shown axis of rotation find the current density at the point r theta pi within the sphere so this is axis of rotation is uh, rotating like this uh, then uh, let us say this is the uh, center center point at the distance r we are going to find uh, that is uh, uh, find the current density at the point r theta and pi so this is r some distance r and the theta also will change uh, by definition, this J is equal to rho into V. J is equal to rho V. Uh, but here, well, uh, unlike previous case, there's, that is this that R and this angular velocity are perpendicular. Here it is not so. So V can be written as V is equal to R cross omega. Here is a, we can write r cross omega is equal to r omega sine theta because theta is not 90 degree. Then uh, r cross both are uh, perpendicular to each other. So the uh, direction of rotation is both perpendicular to r and omega that is pi. We are asked to find the point r theta pi. So R and theta is perpendicular to naturally uh, all three are perpendicular, perpendicular to 
pi cat. So the direction is pi cat. Now you substitute V here. So uh, J will become uh, J is equal to rho multiplied by R omega uh, sin theta uh, pi cat sin theta pi cat. Uh, then uh, here what is rho? Rho pi uh, the definition we know. Total charge is given. Uh, total charge divided by volume. Volume is uh, uh, 4 by 3 pi uh, r cube. Capital R is the radius of the sphere. So this is the formula. You can substitute uh, here for rho. So uh, this uh, current uh, current density at any point as a function of r theta pi is this one. Uh, thank you very much for watching my video and supporting me continuously. Thank you very much.